Well, let's test your uh, knowledge on these earthly uh, mascots here. You want to give us the... Uh, the oh, rundown yeah. of each of these? Well, first and foremost, we have a thick king, the Kool-Aid man, man. <laughs> Yo. Busting through wolves since uh, 19, what, the 80s, maybe? Something I think it like was that? Uh, 60. When was the uh, Jamestown? Jonestown? Oh, shit. <laughs> Jam- <laughs> Jamestown. Yeah, God yeah. damn. There ain't yeah. no way. Well, oh, yeah, no. That's like 1619 <laughs> yeah, Kool-Aid. Was, was Jonestown. Was this is 1969. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. He was busting through log cabins back then, you feel me? Right. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, Kool-Aid man, an absolute icon, destroyer of brick walls. Uh, total legend, man. Powerhouse right there, followed up by the one and only Chester Cheetah. Uh, iconic cokehead. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> then we have... Um, and, from Cheetos. Uh, from Cheetos. Yeah, from, from the Cheetos brand. You know him. Yeah. You don't know. And then next we have this beautiful indigenous woman from the Land of Lakes Butter. Wow. Good stuff, man. She's got a lot of... She's a powerhouse in her own right. She's a yeah. go-boss, as yeah. the kids say <laughs> these days. Yeah, it's a shame that Eli uh, couldn't be here for this episode to really revel in the uh, the oh, beauty of the he indigenous. would have loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. Ha, ha, ha. Next is the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, Avatar of Zool, interdimensional demon defeated by the Ghostbusters in the 1980s classic. <laughs> All right, don't give too much away. Well, yes, that is okay. See, you're well educated. You go, you went back a few decades. You know here. what? I appreciate that you studied the human lore and like our pop culture and what's in our zeitgeist yeah, and man. what's in our colons. I've been around the block. <laughs> Sweet. All right. It's uh, a big block, homie. Oh, man. It's the California Raisins. What a classic. Oh, what a yeah. classic. They're kind of the. Uh, I'll save it for later. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Oh I got to say about the California raisins, and it's unfortunate that this is this way, but it reminds me of my grandpa just because he used to have these little fucking <laughs> mini statuettes of the California raisins that would sit on his desk. Oh, my God. They're quite uncanny. <laughs> yeah, and if you couldn't tell uh, where I got, you know, my... <laughs> The well, way that I am from, from. What did you get? <laughs> he got his pass handed down from his grandpa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Th- truly Through inspiring. multiple generations. <laughs> it's a family heirloom. <laughs> I love raisins, dude. Raisin canes. A raisin Come canes. Oh, my God. <laughs> More like raisin pains, you feel me? Oh, it's a battle yeah. royale. Mm-hmm. Oh. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it down. Yeah. And then we have the hamburger helper hand jerking off people since 1943. Oh, I mean, that was never oh. explicitly stated, but it we can, can be a yeah. can guess. Do so, you guys know the hamburger helper's real name? Heinrich Hamburger. <laughs> uh, actually, quite, quite the opposite. I remember the, I remember the, the newspapers when he was born. It was, it was uh, horror to your humanity. It was, it was terrible. It was shocking. Oh my yeah. God. Hans. He's a product of science. Jeez. He should have been killed. Yeah. yeah that's no. kind of an abomination. Yeah. Well, like like God we alluded damn. to only moments ago, the Geneva Convention, all that kind of stuff, Nuremberg trials. Uh, listen, <laughs> but they, what's, it's funny because they try to flip the script of history on you and that the hamburger helper's hand's name is actually Lefty, which I don't know if that has any political connotations, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> um, speaking of a, a very politicized uh, mascot here, mm. uh, did you watch our, our green M&M uh, episode? Are you familiar with when Tucker Carlson Carlson went on his famous tirade. Yeah, and you degenerates talked about how you'd rail her in a bunch of different ways. <laughs> so essentially. <laughs> so what you're saying is Yes, I'm I aware mean, the green M M&M, But she's are, not rotting her sexy boots anymore. Are there white tennis shoes? I mean, but yeah. but but how do you feel about the green? The, the the whole green thing? I mean not to I mean not to not to I mean you, how do you go ahead. How do you think I feel about the green thing, buddy? Uh hmm. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> <Same. laughs> Culture, yeah, cultural appropriation. Oh, so you're saying? All right, no, we'll get to that. We'll get, we'll to, get that. to that. We'll, we'll, okay, we'll, we'll, I'll we'll get there. I'll double there. back as to why I like the green. We've got some time to dive in. <laughs> it's yeah. <laughs> The rule, because the rule thirty four ability isn't necessarily the same as smash or pass, but it is sort of similar to how many beers. Um, <laughs> all right, <laughs> who else do we got? He's Mr. a freaking Zip. monopolist. It's Mr. Peanut, oh, capitalist yes. engineer. Rest, <laughs> right, right. Oh, rest yeah. in peace. Capitalist icon. Rest in peace, man. What a legend. <laughs> he went out in a fiery, deathly explosion. <laughs> wow. Not that so that is weird how it does evoke some like vibes of the Industrial Revolution. <laughs> <laughs> Those peanut like, processing plants used to be real hellscapes, you know? Mm-hmm. People would lose <laughs> fingers. People would lose eyes. Kids would lose legs. It's tough, man. How do you know that's not what peanuts are? How do I know? Little, little little finger bits. I guess they could have snuck a few in there, and I would have loved them, man. I love peanuts. Very Creed moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't it uh, Jimmy Carter was a peanut farmer? Mm. 
Jimmy yeah, Carter was whack. I don't know. One termer. <laughs> I know George One term. Bush. Uh, George Bush choked on a peanut on live television. True. That was fantastic. True. So yeah. again, those yeah. we're saying the most influential and controversial foods. Yeah. Uh, oh yes, yeah, we only pick the best. <laughs> influential and controversial. Hey. We have a tag team duo. Mm. Uncle Ben and Aunt Jemima. Yeah. Man, the combined efforts, do they balance out each other's problematic elements or do they build up, do they tear each other down or build each other up? That's mm. the question. Mm. Is know? it a multiplier? We'll mm. find out. Um, yeah. <laughs> do they get a fucking a set bonus? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, well, right. right. They should. The, well, co-op, uh, the co-op XP double, you know? They <laughs> right. Spend, you know, they tag team off each other. Yeah. Um, We're going based off of Smash Bros. rules. Yeah, so you can, ice you can think of them yeah. as ice climbers, yeah. correct? Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> of the right. situation. Last but not least, man, it's a spicy one up in here. It's the Tapatio guy. Ay, muy caliente. <laughs> too bad Eli's not here. He would love that, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bummer, dude. Dirty uh, shame. <laughs> oh, all yeah. right how shall we begin fellas man all wow. right mm. so i guess this takes us to our first category let me play a little more epic music let's do it so, man and also we, we so we're gonna basically okay oh yeah so i should explain <clears throat> the score is kind of like golf okay whoever gets the least amount of points at the end is the winner right. and we tabulate that so basically we rank these characters one through ten uh, one being the best or the most, you know, the most, uh, the winner, the most, po- the highest power level gets one, for example. Exactly. Um, gotcha. So whoever has the least points at the end. So essentially, we have to, we have to, just so I understand, we have to allocate that everyone only gets one digit, like only one of them is going to be one, one of them is going to be two, yeah, one correct. Be three, yeah, four, exactly. five. Basically, three ranking, ranking okay. them in each category. Gotcha, gotcha. By starting with the lowest. Yeah. So whoever's the like, lowest, yeah, then we work Like you said, the least points, right. like golf. Okay. And, so we and, proceed making an argument for who's at the top first and right. then work our way down, right? Right. So we collaborate. Well, no, for who's at the bottom first, I think. Because then we get like, you know, because then we get like 10, 9, 9, 9, We'll, we'll, we'll see whatever we'll jumps out, out to us. Whatever's clever. Yeah, yeah. Try it. Okay, boys. All right, All right. man. Well, yeah, so. kick it off. So, man, power yeah. level. Let's hit with the classic phrasing of this man. Who'd win in a fight? Who do you guys think is the biggest powerhouse oh, out of these guys? Man, we got a lot to dig into here. So, uh, are we? I guess I'll just ask right off the bat. I mean, are we doing one v ones? Are we doing just just Mexican standoff? Like everyone's <laughs> just brawling? Is it just? Well, the what, show's what, called what? Battle Royale, you know, so it's just like overall it's, it's Fortnite free for all, last man yep. standing free for all. Whether that be tactical <laughs> prowess or whether it be <clears throat> physical strength. Uh, oh my god, who's coming out on top? And a lot of this <laughs> stuff, keep in mind, is not necessarily established by these corporations they haven't gone through the effort of writing the extended canon and lore of these characters which is where we come in but luckily we have <laughs> yeah and we've thought about it a little bit but anything that we haven't thought of we've done a minimal amount of research but we can also do some live googling during the show if we really need to break something down um we at least thought about it for 30 minutes beforehand yeah yeah this is a very prepared episode hmm. yes indeed okay all right well uh, Let's go in a round. Let's go in like a round table. All right. Let's start with the, our guest of honor. What, okay. Who strikes you as the most powerful of these mm. fighters? Well, I think amongst most powerful, I'd have to say it's kind of a three-way split for me between the Kool-Aid Man, mm-hmm. the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, mm-hmm. and the Tapatio Guy. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like the Tapatio Guy has some influence that is more political and more criminal in, in, in nature. Yes. Whereas... You know, the State Puffed has some very supernatural powers, but the Kool-Aid Man is an absolute powerhouse. He's just solid brick. He's a brawler. Mm. You know, he breaks through brick walls on a regular basis. He'll break your face like it's nothing, man. His power level is just, yeah. He's thick. He's strong. He's heavy. I think he could be up to the challenge that anybody else comes up to him. But you know what, man? I don't know. He's glass. And True. glass shatters. Yeah. Well, okay, hold glass on. Glass cannon establish. material right wow. there, yeah. yeah. Let's establish, is it like a plexiglass? Is it bulletproof glass? I mean, the, the whatever fucking military <clears throat> lab the Kool-Aid man was crafted in, I mean, it, they okay. have to I use some... I presume it's similar to like a riot shield, you know? Yeah. Like right. It's like a bulletproof riot shield, you know? Nah, this, this man is made to serve drinks. At best, it's plexiglass, if you're lucky. Mm. Well, okay. what if it's like a hard, durable plastic? What if we've been thinking it wrong, like, wrong the whole time, you know? Right. It could be a pitcher, yeah. I mean, I mean, Kool-Aid like, itself is pitcher. served in, in plastic containers a lot of the time. True. Mm. Yeah, yeah, mm. the packet. 
<laughs> the Kool-Aid man, yeah. Isn't that the dark irony of Kool-Aid? It's like, wow, he's just like this hulking glass pitcher, but most of the time it's served in like Dixie cups and like plastic. <laughs> so wow. question though, like Kool-Aid man is filled with liquid, right? Yeah. What is yeah. the liquid? Is that <laughs> his consciousness? Is he the liquid or is he the container? Can the two function independently of each other? I because think, all man. you'd have to do to theoretically beat the Kool-Aid man is to push him over. I think that it has but to. But can you push him over? That's the question. He, he is a he, tank. Well, let's think about yeah. this from a physics standpoint. Mm. With more liquid inside of his already massive frame, he's mm. going to become mm. more dense and more strong. Right. So I presume that if he loses some of the liquid, it's just less... Uh, inertia behind each attack, you know, he's not as okay. powerful, you know, yeah, so okay. he can't move as fast. Mm. Think about it. If he runs, he can pick up speed because he's so thick, you feel me? Mm. Um, but so if he's if he has a little more top heaviness, if he's not all the way full, you know, it's a little more wobbly, the Kool-Aid's shaking around, uh, you right. know, you get these inner kind of cyclones going on, and I think that's <laughs> yeah. um, definitely how you weaken him, because then too, think about it, have you ever dropped a beer bottle full and it doesn't break, but then when the beer bottle's empty, it shatters? It's because the liquid's reinforcing the glass. Mm. So I think that uh, it's not necessarily going to kill Maybe. him to ruin it all, but that's definitely how you're going to take him down. Hmm. Okay. I don't okay. know. If you can get him in one fell swoop and he doesn't bounce, I think he's going to break because the kinetic energy can't really distribute. It just goes to the one point of the glass and shatters. But if he bounces, he might have a chance. I know. But I, I'm also thinking if he if he's on a continuous attack pattern, right? Mm -hmm. He's, you know, he's throwing swings here and there. He's sloshing around. So he's just continuously <laughs> losing fluid up to True. a certain threshold, maybe. So I, like I was going to agree to something like that. Yeah. Right. So, we, I, but, yeah. so, but to the, to the philosophical question though, is he the glass or is he the liquid? Or is that too deep for this episode? That's I a big wanna, one. I think that's a whole episode on its own. That's that's a tough one. <laughs> that's a tough. I want to say for on. the for the sake of our for the sake of our mortal brains, mm. or at least mm. for, for the, your puny the three human of brains, the three of us that I are can right. comprehend yeah. it. Speak for yourselves, yeah. guys. Yeah, speak um, for yourself. Yeah. Um, yeah. Come on. Don't offend our guests. My my, 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 my mortal brain. I'm, I I apologize, dude. I would say uh, <laughs> I'd say he's the glass because I want to I want to okay. go with the theory mm -hmm. that Robert was saying where it's like okay. He's brawling, you know, he starts with full liquid, right? And then that mm -hmm. gives him the mm -hmm. most, like, defensive and, like, attack boost where he's just, like, a straight tank. But mm -hmm. as he's brawling, he's losing liquid, like, rolling around, like, just shit just happens. Right, right. And, like, he's, so he loses, like, defense and attack power, but then he gains speed. Oh, okay. Oh. So he gets, so it's like a give and take, right? Fresh. So then by the time he's like empty, it's like speed, like boxer, like. He's a glass cannon. Oh, that's actually a brilliant character idea for a fighter. For a like, damn. That, like that would fit in for Smash Bros, I think. Hey, I just, I just want to say uh, shout out to everybody who's watching the stream yeah. right now. Shout, shout out, out to Malibu Barbie, Malibu Barbie in the chat. Malibu Barbie. What What's the puppy? Hey. Hey, and, and, if, and, if, and if you guys are watching in the chat, Sound off on on what characters tell us, you would tell choose. Us. Who would like make us some arguments? How make us some arguments? You might be able to sway the the tide of this battle royale. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Who With wins? Cheese. Who wins on power level? Who wins on power level? <laughs> I think we can agree though that uh, Kool Aid Man's definitely up there. I turn, I think in terms of physical, he's in the top. Kind of wouldn't top three. I wouldn't <laughs> argue with that. Kool Aid Man just by his sheer weight and size alone is is easily the most most powerful. Who uh, well, when it comes like to him. blows to blow, yeah. The only other thing I was thinking of is what if. It, now, are we talking just power level in general, or are we talking ability to fight these other specific characters? Both. Well, both. Okay. As both. creative as you can with it. I think Chester Cheetah definitely, I mean, he's a fucking cheetah, bro. He'll fuck you up. He's fast as fuck. Right. Because yeah. 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 what if, but he's like, what, with it. what if, like, the, what if the Tapatio man starts pouring Tapatio inside of the Kool Aid? Ooh. Would that hurt Kool Aid man, or would that help him? That'll get him all fired up, you feel okay. me? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. That was so crazy. some huh. some like a uh, cross skill synergy there. No, if he right. puts the top like, of T on side of the Kool Aid man, he yeah. temporarily gains control of him, bro. Oh, like a reverse damn. Kirby. Yeah, yeah. Damn. So he can temporarily sway the flow of the Kool Aid man's bowels but, by hey. inserting hot sauce into him. Hot sauce do be making you think a little funny sometimes. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's a terpene overload. <laughs> yeah, yep. you can't even help it. Overload of terpenes. Mm. Well, so lit. okay, it might give him a slight like attack boost for a minute, but then right. it like mm. over time it puts mm. him into like a blind rage mode, like a blind yeah. rage status, you know. So uh, damn, yeah. Hmm. Me, me personally, I agree. I agree with with Zood here, where it's like top three is definitely Kool Aid Man, Stay Puff, Tapatio guy. But true, Stay Puffed is like 
Number Huge. four honorable yeah. mention, I think, is uh is Mr. Peanut, bro. He's pretty much the he he's pretty much also the uh the mega billionaire like True. Tapatio mm. version. True. You know, the like American the Tapatio dude, dude. And Mr. What, okay. Peanut hunts you people for sport. Yeah. Well, dude, that's the thing. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Mr. Peanut's like the silent killer, but he's also kind of like Thanos. Never gets his stance dirty, like, bro. He could just snap his finger and like a certain percentage of people that are allergic to peanuts will just oh. die instantly from allergies. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. So, that's not good. Mm, that is you know. a part. I mean, but it, is it any of these characters? That's Do, what that's what counts. I, you know, well, definitely, I mean, M and M's are invulnerable to peanut allergy. Yeah, one hundred percent. Come on, you know they yeah, be fucking. Yeah. She be fucking the, I mean, the, the peanut filled M and M. Yeah. Are any uh, of these characters allergic? I feel to like it's, it's it's it's. I feel like the Native American chick might be. <laughs> of course, of course, all these characters can wreak havoc on the general public. But right. what really. When it comes down to it, what can they do to each other? That's what we're trying to right true. parse out. Well, true. Um, I think the fact that again the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man is an it's avatar well, of an interdimensional right. demon. That's pretty. Like, that yeah, oh, he's pretty nuts. They, right. The and, only way they were um, able to beat him was by overloading their I equipment. Mean, we, you know? we, we have we have footage. We have proof of what right. he's capable of. Like we're accounting Ghostbusters into the lore of Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Right. Of course. Because that's all we really have to go on. So uh -huh. well, then I would say that. The Stave Bug Marshmallow Man is a lot bigger than than even the Kool-Aid. So I would say maybe yeah. he's number one. But what if the yeah, Kool-Aid Man... Kool-Aid Man is like the Hulk of this lineup, I feel like, you know? Whereas, yeah. um, you know, the uh, Stay Puft, he's a very kaiju-oriented kind of uh, <laughs> creature, yeah. you know? He's very slow, but though. But Hulk can take American on kaiju. kaijus. So I think mm. that maybe... The, I mean... Here's the thing. I think he. You can, think they're top two? I think. He, wait, I, think I definitely wait. think they're top. What two. is Stay Puft made out of? Marshmallows. Marshmallows. Okay, and what is <gasps> marshmallow made out of? Sugar. And what is sugar? Water soluble. <laughs> sure. oh. What is Kool Aid made out of? Ninety nine percent water. And the oh. rest is sugar. So I think this is another absorption situation. Damn. Oh my god, he's kind of like he'd Alexander. have to sacrifice himself damn. to defeat. Feet stay puffed. Mm. They cancel each other out, right. bro. So does that just leave Tapatio man like in the fucking Tapatio has he's the a, political power. He's a he's guy. The mind yeah, games. I think yeah. I think any, either one of them. Like I don't think Tapatio guy has the means to face off against the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Even if he has the whole cartel, what are they gonna mm. do? Shoot him? They yeah. already tried that. You know, he's a, he's, a, he's he's magic. We, we saw the military try to take him on, and we we already see that they that's couldn't ineffective. Do shit. So even if we assume Tapatio guy has those resources, it's not gonna. Your puny human armies mm. are nothing against an interdimensional peril such as the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's I think tough. I think Mr. Peanut. Yeah. It's tough. Mr. Peanut's pretty underpowered just in terms of his actual fighting ability. Right. He's he gets only, he cracked can, like a shell, you know? He can he only can... make money moves. Like, he, he, can only, <laughs> yeah. he can only oppress you financially and that, systematically. He's the George Soros of grocery <laughs> food. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, that's uh, great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so when we say though that in terms of raw power scaling, that uh, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man might be number one, I would say I would say he's a, a pretty easy <sighs> number one. Be. I was saying earlier that there's an argument for Lefty. Oh, yeah. Let's hear right, it. Let's right. hear it. Well, obviously, like this is like the master hand, you know, from Smash Bros. of the situation here. Mm -hmm. But also, the point of Hamburger Helper is to turn, you know, hamburger into any food right period so he's got the power of just like literally like he's got harnessing alchemy. infinite dimensions he's got alchemy right he yeah. can he Ooh. can manifest so potentially so if he had the capability to say turn i don't know a half a pound of hamburger into its raw potential energy <laughs> um so what you're that would destroy the planet <laughs> so what you're saying is that lefty the hamburger helper has achieved what eons of alchemists have sought to after which is the philosopher's stone he's mastered the technique i think so yes. yeah I, he can heinrich, heinrich hand has done that yeah <laughs> <laughs> he can transmutate hey. oxygen into gold all spontaneously I, all i can say is the left should not be wielding this power <laughs> <laughs> that's true well okay but we don't we actually don't know about the origin of mm -hmm. if there's lefty if there's a left hand where it was what happened writing. to the right hand oh Ooh. um what i imagine happened now I, I don't know for sure is that uh lefty absorbed righty in the womb and <laughs> has the power of both hands 
Wait, Jesus. so what's the, what's their, what's their, is it, is the, is the mother like a hand? Like another hand? Is it like a, is it like <laughs> yeah, two is it a hands? Species of is hands? it like two hands? No, it's two hands when you do one no, of a. No. Uh, See, <laughs> wait, wait, dad, wait, wait, wait. About dad was the hand. <laughs> Mom is the mouth. Oh. See, you need you need both elements, right? Oh, and if you're eating hamburger helper, you're eating hand to mouth. You're living <laughs> hand to mouth. So <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I, think you, I think you made a serious case though for hamburger helper here. Oh my but, uh, God. He, uh, that's you know, sna- he think he's got the Thanos snap too. You know? Okay. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but right. I mean, we, we we have to we have to put the numbers on everyone. So I I propose okay, Stay Puffed is one. I Kool-Aid guess we, we we've agreed that Kool-Aid's, Stay Puffed is Kool-Aid's one. Kool Aid's got to be two. Kool Aid is obviously two. And and I think I agree with Robert. Where if they really went at it, they'd probably kill each other. But yeah, just means, for the sake of his okay. ability to fight everyone else, Stay Puffed is kind of on top. Can marshmallows survive a nuclear blast? No. Well, no. Twinkies and such other things supposedly can, right? So mm. if it's preserved, the radiation, right. but not the the blast right. radius. Twinkie the kids nowhere to be found. Now, though. If we get a direct mm. hit on Stay Puffed, here's mm. the thing though: mm. with Stay Puffed mm. is. I don't know that there's any characters that would be affected by this, mm-hmm. but marshmallows contain gelatin. Gelatin oh, shit. Contains, mm. is made from pork. Mm. So, would, but I don't what? I don't think any of these characters would be uh, religiously affected by that. I, don't like so either. I saw what you were going for, but I, <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. Okay, so that I don't think they mute. care. Mm. I yeah. still think they're number one and number two. So stay puffed, number, number one. one. Yeah. Yep. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll agree to that for power level. Although, yeah. Li- yeah. Oh, so number one, stay puffed. <laughs> number two is a uh, Kool Aid Man, right? I would say so. Yeah. I think number three might be Heinrich Ham. <laughs> Heinrich Ham. <laughs> well, okay, but hold on. I feel like we haven't focused nearly enough on Chester or the California Raisins at all. We don't know what their power is scaling. What? Uh, like Chester mm. the Cheetah's fast as fuck. He's on a lot of cocaine, so yeah, he'll stab sense. you in an alleyway. Right. Yeah. He's, he might be top five. He might he be top wants five. What you got. I think he's top five. Well, okay, let's take a look at the California raisins. Obviously, they're dehydrated, which means if you attack them, they're not going to bleed. They're just going right. to, they're almost like zombies, basically. Well, the California you know what raisins mm, are right? high on like, opium all the time. And, and they have the power. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. So they, they don't have any fear. They're just like fully inhibited, right? Fully or uninhibited. Zombified? Yeah, they're pretty zombified. At that I mean, point. look at that! Mm. I, I, look at that face. You're kind of right. But, know, they are, like but there are four mm. California raisins, right? Yeah, uh, there's a few. Three or four? I think there's three, and then there's one like golden raisin. <laughs> well, you oh. gotta realize. Yeah. Wait, got- wait. So the golden. Hold on. The golden raisin is fucking Super Saiyan, though. <laughs> Are yes. we counting that? I, I, I don't know if Supersonic. he's Super Saiyan or if it's just racial diversity or, mm. you know, it could be both. I don't know. that. I, yeah, no. I mean, they're just all generally all purple. I don't know that there's yeah. a golden one. Hmm. Well, uh, you know, in some hmm. of the uh, some of the sh- screenshots from I, what I imagine was a t- television show at some These point. These are truly horrifying. I know. <laughs> it's pretty fucked. These commercials are can we, wild. Uh, can we pull that up? Yeah. What's, uh, what you looking at? Oh, yeah. History, History of California, California Raisins. raisins. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe there is no golden raisin. Yeah, so there are not. four of them. They're truly ghastly. Hmm. Yeah. That's truly unfortunate. Huh. Dude. The golden one's just a myth. Mm. Marvin Gaye. Wow. I heard it through the grapevine. Has seen a resurgence in popularity thanks to its inclusion on the soundtrack of the 1983 Boomers Get Existential Film, The Big Chill. Mm. Was, <laughs> wait, did the California raisins bring back? I heard it through the grapevine. Hmm. I believe it. Damn. It's fitting. That's yeah. our anthem. That's Never left, good. dude. Those raisins were getting cheated on left and right, so now it's their right. turn to get some now that they're rock stars. You feel me? <laughs> I feel you. Wow. Hey, nobody thought they would make it out of Harlem. Whoa, oh my God. the California raisin was invented by the same team that invented the Noid from Domino's, which we didn't oh. include because Domino's is a restaurant, and so we're just talking grocery store mm. mascots, If just to clear up any confusion mm. there. Interesting. Uh, we do have one image uh if you'd like to go ahead and pull that up real quick, if you go to the Zoodcast episode folder into the images drive, um, uh, let's uh, let's hide his Sorry, screen me, for this one second, real quick. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pull that up. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's got a little Noid action going on in there. A little Noid action? <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. The Noid and I are good buddies. We used to do cocaine back in the 80s all the time. 
Oh, really? Really? Mm-hmm. What was that all about? <laughs> oh, it was great, bro. We do quaaludes and cocaine and go to parties. We would invest in stocks together, you see. It was a very American psycho situation. He told me to buy in Pizza Hut stock, but I sold. And that was right before all those accidents. And I made so much money. It was great. I sold at peak Noid popularity. <laughs> and I made millions before those people died in those car accidents. So what you're telling me is that cartoons are actually fucking real? Um, I'm telling you the Noid is real. Oh, okay. okay. I, found, so, I found the image we're talking all about. All right, all right, all right. Let's, <laughs> let's grab the sucker. Let's yeah. check, out, check so, out the situation. So clearly you can see uh, in this image. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> the California <laughs> Raisin. Are you so what is this? You, let's so, talk about the implications of this. Okay, yeah. Are you suggesting that he is the messiah of the raisin species? And thus he has similar transmutative blood magic powers? Mm, mm. Jesus, Jesus was a dehydrated grape wearing a tuxedo. <laughs> <laughs> With slow heavy metal music playing. Ba, 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 Jesus, ba, ba. Jesus turned water into wine. Wine's made from grapes. Raisin's also made from grapes. Think about it. A There's base. a correlation there. So wait, there was another one. There was Damn. another one. With the with the hamburger Another, helper, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know this got so deep. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, <laughs> this we got. See, Although that's I, what I'm saying. See, this is I, I kind of knew about this already because the Noid told me this is something he told me he'd kill me if I told what, anybody else. What is this? But the well, Noid is dead now. The secret's out. Well, Tony Demarco here uh, shouts is that, out. Is that <laughs> Lefty? It. That is Lefty. They're indeed. in Lefty. Yep. Lefty's the Noid. Yeah. So and the California what, Raisins. The thing is, he's what? no. That's not actually true. They're just. Deep, deep inside. <laughs> oh no! Oh, so that explains the anatomy of. But wait, so does that mean that they're working together, or that 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 Lefty just completely enveloped these uh, these raisins? So okay. Lefty, I wouldn't say what destroys the raisins. Then <laughs> I wouldn't say if what they're engaging shove him, here. Them up of his, you know, his whatever glove. his orifice. Yeah, his glove, <laughs> his glove making uh, abilities. <laughs> And then I assume these these raisins just get just suffocate in there. Well, I mean, like, it's got to be pretty. Pull it back up. It don't it's got to be pretty dark, dark and dank in there. It you know, it looks like they're having a good time. I don't know. Well, that guy's trying to get out. Does that look like? Yeah. Does that look like they're having a good time though? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Actually, the one yeah. on the left is Careful literally crying. That. Yeah, true. Oh, crying. Oh, we got my angry. God. He's like, I'm stuck. A good time though. That's my boy. The yeah, noid is, okay. the noid is just on drugs, like so, usual. It seems can, oh yeah. we're yeah. witnessing the power of Lefty in action right here. Okay, so yeah. he can, so he can fucking body literally. He can body the noid and the raisins at the same I time. I think the yeah. California raisins. So they don't, they don't really stand a chance. So no. then we have to place the uh, helper higher than, uh, definitely higher than the raisins. Let's go back to our our board here. Let's see where we're, where we're at. Mm-hmm. I think the raisins might be last place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude, we just want yeah. a hard, a hard kick them to the end right there. Yeah. I All think right. so. I mean, can. But what? What about uh, Aunt Jemima? And what yeah, about Land of the, Lakes? Can, like? can the ra- I mean, can Aunt Jemima, Uncle Ben, and the Green M M&M and M defeat the California Raisins? That's think- true. What are their powers? Well, you know that the Green M and M is packing. You know, she's a modern woman. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay. Packing. So she's got a gat. Wait, yes. how modern are we talking? Oh, a gun. Okay. A gun, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is the gun made out of chocolate? It's made out of chocolate, but it does have real firing mechanisms, so it will kill you. Dude. So it's the a- gun will explode after one shot. <laughs> It's a 3D printed gun, but it's made of chocolate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. She's got a couple on them. It's know? like those weird Japanese game shows where it's like, is it like, is it chocolate or is it? It's like you put a gun in your mouth and it's like, it's like, oh, it's just chocolate. <laughs> oh, oh I just, I've never yeah. seen that one. Hey, Green M and M can shoot oh. chocolate bullets into my mouth all day, bro. Hey. Yo, yeah, uh, Green. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Who, do we have any clear number threes right now? Uh, so uh, number three is I think, uh, No, I think number three is actually uh, Lefty. Lefty. I'm, my I'll vote's on Lefty. I think I'm he made Lefty. A, yeah. Between his alchemical powers and his ability to just blatantly consume people, bro, right. yeah. and the power of his hand, bro. Ta- and plus, mm. think about. I mean, he's got hands. <laughs> he doesn't have hands. He is hands. Well, you know, to, to <laughs> quote, throws himself. What are the implications yeah. of that? To quote SpongeBob, it's all about the finger strength. <laughs> the finger strength. <laughs> all right. Well, you sold me with that. Hey, man. He's got the three. grip and the lips that grip. Holy shit. <laughs> all right. 
I would say uh, Hamburger Helper three, and then probably Chester four. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's fair. That's all fair. Right. That's fair. I'll agree. Okay. I, I think California raisins are all the way down, though, man. I don't know. I don't know. They're pretty weak, but I haven't heard Four. any arguments like that. Like, who's okay. we- that anyone's weaker than California raisins? They seem the most ineffective right now. Mm. I mean, uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, what can Uncle Ben? I mean, I mean, guess it's two people. It's true. a tag team, full size people. How big are these raisins? Are they let's, giant? Let's are they assume for the sake size? of the argument that they are. All roughly the size of a six foot male, except okay. for that's, all right, except that's for spread. Stay Puffed, <laughs> oh, who, who, who is, is clearly who is clearly kaiju level. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, fair. Hmm. Yeah. Well, huh. if they're that big, I was gonna say the raisins are waist height because like there's three of them and they're right. still raisins. They're very novel, you know. Um, so they yeah, I'd say like they're probably about like jump four, on top of each feet. other, and, mm-hmm. but they're fast with the trench coat. No, they are, are they fast. fast. Okay, but oh, they yeah. do work as a team. Three of them so. in a trench coat could be trouble. That's for right. sure. I feel like then, you know what else they could keep in the trench coat? Mm. An AR-15. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, <laughs> true. In Minecraft a- or watches. In, I can't lie. In Woblox. I, I feel like the raisins would body Uncle Ben and Aunt Jemima. <laughs> Yeah. Simply, there's more of yeah. them, and the sort of you know the zombie Power factor. It's Who's like, what are they gonna do? Sing like on Jem- on Ben and Anja Mimer just or Uncle Ben and Anja Mimer just gonna Whoa. sing a fucking song? I think they're just people, you know, and rain fucking syrup That's from true. the skies. Yeah, or, like, unless they have some supernatural powers that I, I don't think know about. There's no evidence of like such. I don't think maple syrup flash flood. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, yeah, I don't what think do they, they got? have any supernatural abilities. I think it'll just mm. come down to a straight fight. I I'm gonna I'm gonna make the argument of. Uh, I'm just gonna go out on a limb to to pick the last one, the least power level. I, th- I think it's the green M M&M. and M. I don't really. I don't, wow. I don't, soft, I think very she's, soft shell. I you don't believe in women. Delicate. Are you saying she's well, not a strong? Well, Aunt Jemima's woman? better than her. True. Aunt Jemima's been mm. through a lot. First Land O'Lakes Butter Girl's better than her. True. True. Really? If we had to pit M and M's and Land O'Lakes, bro, she's got. She's an indigenous woman. There's nothing stronger she's than got, an indigenous woman. Mm. Butter's and a staple, has, though. That's that's for sure. She knows how to use a bow and arrow. Mm. I can feel it. Didn't True. you see the new Predator movie? <laughs> well, but okay. So in these in these situations, uh, Aunt Jemima can give you diabetes. But Land of Lakes can give you Cholesterol. heart disease, right? Yeah. Mm. So mm. Mm. butter bars, yeah. Yeah, but unless you trust the carnivore diet, I do not. <laughs> the lion <laughs> diet, but you could just not eat that stuff. True. Mm. But some, I know some of these other characters aren't going to be able to help it. No. All right. Well, let's say <laughs> uh, if we could figure out five, I think it's ta- uh, it's between Tapatio and Mister Peanut, in my opinion. I think number Tapatio five. Guy. Number uh, Tapatio guy number yeah. five. Mr. I Mr. Would... Peanut got killed off. I think we have his death. I sent you his, a video of his death, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me yeah, pull dead. that up. Hmm. But, I mean, we're assuming he's alive in this situation, true. right? True, true, true. But he's still a peanut. That's, that'll come later. That'll come. That's but a different I mean, category. Him, he's rich. Uh, I think it's just a front. I, I feel know. like... I, okay, let's not doubt that the Tapatio guy has hands. Come on, bro. He's from okay. south of the border. He, well, that's, he why doesn't he's above, that's why he's oh. above him. No, that's what I said. Yeah, Okay. I agree. Mr. So is he the strongest of the human contenders? Yes. Yes. Mr. Peanut is a billionaire with almost infinite resources, mm, mm. but <laughs> Tapatio Man has the power of the cartel. Right. Yeah. right. <laughs> which, is, so. which is almost the same thing. But I know, exactly. I would, I would argue <laughs> it, it, it really comes down to inches here where it's like they're almost the same in that ability, yeah. but if it came down to mm. blows, Tapatio, Mr. Peanut, Tapatio guy's got it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, he well, he's, show right he, open, he's got he's got all the He's got all the resources as well as hands mm. on if all it's the coming, other human characters. But if it's coming down to inches, then how does Mr. Tapatio face off against Uncle Ben. Oh, oh man. I think hands wise, I think Uncle Ben will fucking show him what's up. Yeah. In they terms of inches? I don't know if he was talking about hands. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you still you're still catching on to the mm. our human lingo here. I mean, well, Zids have no I mean they call him Mr. Peanut because but <laughs> right. oh yeah. damn son. Zids have no genitalia, so I just well, don't get it. Do you think when Mr. Tapatio you know he when he comes? When he, when he but <laughs> what like what color do when you think? Like right. yeah, you red. know like he is it he comes red? Is it like spicy? It's, it is tapatio. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, it's tapatio. We're yes, we're assuming, the copyrighted product. We're I assuming for the sake of that's how it's made. <laughs> mm. 
That's just chlamydia with more steps. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> but luckily, Zoods are immune hey, from chlamydia. All I'm saying oh, yeah, no. is Drake could learn a thing or two from the Tapatio guy. True. True. <laughs> well, that's true. If the hot sauce will kill the sperm in a condom, yes, <laughs> then right. what else could it kill? <laughs> exactly. I mean, if you, like, I would, if I, if I was going to get drowned in two things, I would much rather get drowned in Kool-Aid than get drowned in fucking Tapatio sauce. Well, I'd burn that's all the true. way down. I mean, either way, I'm drowning, but. Yeah. So, Tapatio See, 5. Yeah, uh, at yeah. this point he's five, but I would, man, you're you're kind of you're kind of making a whole new, you're opening a whole new world for me right now because he could use his cartel status to make tapatio fused weaponry that we don't even, <laughs> oh my god, that we can't even comprehend. He like, comes through with the spice shooters, bro. Dude, it's just he, super damn. soakers full of hot sauce. <laughs> he'd be like, the, he'd be like the. <laughs> okay, yeah, I would say that mm. like. But like, can be like do, the Mexican Doctor Doofenshmirtz. Okay, bro. Like, okay. So wait, but is like it a, fair that Mr. Tapatio has like a whole <laughs> team of like of like henchmen sure. and stuff? But do does Uncle Ben or Aunt Jemima between the two of them have any? No, like, they don't any have shooters? those resources. They don't have shooters. They don't oh, have they resources. Don't have no. I, well, that's just unfair. But that just shows you what the systematic <laughs> oppression is like. Same thing with Land Lakes. I mean, all she really has is the butter. She has her tribe and her people. Okay, and she has the Great Spirit guiding her. Through these battles and times. She has all the colors of the wind. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. Don't you doubt my girl here. Nice. Uh. (laughs) Uh. All right. So five is Tapatio, guy. Who's six here? All the colors. Yeah. Um, (sighs) Land of Lakes. Land of Lakes. Well, because does she have any like ancestral... Ability, uh, spirit she's animal. connection to the, the great right. spirit. Yeah, she's right, right, right. Her survivalist that. skills are through the roof. We'll right. say that. Like I said, if you saw the new Predator movie, mm. you'd know what an indigenous woman is mm. capable mm. of. Okay. <laughs> okay. So maybe she's number Actually, six. I don't, but um, I'd like to find out. So I, I think... <laughs> I think from what is left, she is the the strongest human human character. All right, let's yeah. let's, let's let's clock it in as, as six. six. Yeah, yeah, we're six. taking extremely long on this first hey, category. Hey, but chat, so, if but you're sick, here, though. if you're here, chat, let us know because uh, yeah, we need to if, know. Yeah, if there's any <laughs> if there's any significant arguments that you can make, fucking All right, feel free. Damn, they're beating out Mr. Peanut. That's crazy, man. Yeah, I think he's next. Yeah, All All right. Right. he's next. Seven, Wait, seven. I think. Okay, hold up. I think Mr. Peanut's hey. got... I think Aunt Je- Jemima and Uncle Ben have got to be stronger than Mr. Peanut. They could kick <laughs> Mr. Peanut's ass. Between the but two of them... I think it's the resource thing again, dude. We we're forgetting that he's That's like true. a billionaire, bro. That's true. It's like well, because think, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of money. He's got a cane, bro. You think he's never yeah. beaten someone to death well, with that cane, bro? It's one of he's those a, with like, like the said, knife he, on the handle, he, you know? He hunts humans for sport on a private island. Yeah. Mr. Peanut was on the Epstein flight logs. You're okay? right. God so damn. <laughs> Mr. Peanut. I think he's, he, he's got to be seven. Did, Mr. Peanut he's didn't kill seven. himself. <laughs> Quick shout out to uh, KJ. Thanks for tuning in. KJ, yeah, what's hello. up? How's it going, KJ? What's up, my What's Bobby? Tell let us, let tell us, us if we've got this right with the power level here. Yeah. Um, what is up, my Zed? Okay. How are we feeling? Mr. Peanut, seven? Seven. I would say that Mr. Peanut's got to be seven he's, since he's got more more institutional power than... Okay, the most. real question. So, like I said, I made the bold choice. Me, personally, mm-hmm. the M&M's just last. So, it's just... but For me, it's just between the California Raisin and the tag team of Uncle Ben and Aunt Jemima. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think, I think Aunt, Uncle Ben and Aunt Jemima are eight. Eight, I think so. Eight, yeah. all right. Yeah, yeah. they're still humans. They still have the height advantage over some yes. the peanuts and the fu- the raisins. It, like if Even you those could, three versus one, two. Because like, hmm. like, I don't know. Mister Peanut could still be assassinated, right? In Minecraft, as he was. But uh, fuck. right now, I'm. He was guillotined. It was like <laughs> in half. <laughs> uh, hey, that's the best way to open peanuts. a peanut, bro. Yeah. <laughs> But the they, they like cracked his shell open and then they got a shotgun and they were just like, <laughs> <laughs> damn, Jesus, it was tough. Yeah, it was <laughs> rough. Dude. It was a, a lot of day. things. Yeah, it was a oh, yeah. God. <laughs> damn. The revolutionaries then, finally, yeah, they killed Mr. Peanut. But then, uh, uh, you know, you know, Robert made a good point of like the the zombification of the the hmm. raisins, bro. Mm. Yeah, and then Uncle Ben's looking kind of old, man. Like I don't yeah. know if he could. Nah, you're right. I don't know if he could fare. And, and then, he always I mean, dies in Spider Man. I mean, too, so. I, a, <laughs> I mean, yeah. uh, maybe maybe lover, but uh, I, I think she's a lover. She's not a fighter. <laughs> yeah, but, but she is a survivor. She is. 
she's a breast cancer survivor <laughs> that's kind of like she's kind of like a witch from hansel and gretel she's like oh mm, come to my house sweetie there's a whole house made of syrup Ooh, it's just, <laughs> it's just like, and dripping yeah bro you just yeah. Feel like you get stuck you get stuck like a, in a web of you know what i mean like <laughs> you just feel uh, like you're on stick. acid <laughs> when you go in yeah I think Man, uh, I feel like um, Uncle Ben. I think they ben, would take out the raisins. Really? I think they could take out the raisins. How many raisins? You know, There's okay. four raisins, though. He- here's my theory: is and and it's contributing to what you're saying. Okay. I think you're right, and that's because I think Uncle Ben is cooking more than just food, bro. <laughs> <laughs> What's he got? I, th- I think he's got something that the raisins want, bro. <laughs> oh, oh my crack? god. <laughs> Could he's be. Cooking. I'm not saying that, but you know, it could be. He's doing. <laughs> he's saying he's got the anarchist cookbook right next uh-huh. to his rice cooker, bro. He's like, come here. I know you want some of that. <laughs> come oh. on, what you know about this? He's cooking. <laughs> he's cooking pipe bombs. Is that what you're implying? Mm-hmm. I think yeah, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> pipe bombs in Minecraft. Indeed. Well, okay. In, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in Minecraft. In let Minecraft. me drop some history on Roblox. you, though. That. <laughs> Listen, Uncle Ben, I mean, the time period that they're from, they're from the Civil War times. So they had to be crafty. And they had, but they also, maybe they do have some helpers, you know, like they helped free some slaves. In the I'm 18, sure in the 1860s. Hey, they got some, they got some Paragon points for that one. Has Aunt Jemima accomplished, look, I'm presuming she's on a similar level to Harriet Tubman. She's the Harriet Tubman of food. Yeah. Oh of my pan- god. Yeah, of pancake accessories. In yeah. the sense that <laughs> yeah. she lubricates uh your throat in the sense that she lubricated the underground railroad. <laughs> That's <laughs> and, true. And, and allowed That's many true. many the things to pass through. <laughs> the underground railroad, the rails never got derailed like today. They had those trains <laughs> running perfect yep, unlike yep. in 2023. <laughs> they were lubed up and they were smooth and they were brand new just built. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. so thinking there's trains involved. So uh, I think they got some like they can summon like <laughs> can they summon like uh, I'm not gonna say Django, but like so, oh my <laughs> god, I, I'm gonna say no. I'm trying to get I'm trying to give them a leg up. I'm trying to help them out so they're well, not just weak old. I, I don't you know if we're if we're if we're, if we're struggling to give a leg up, I I have to argue it's not there. Then you know right. if we're reaching for straws. You know what? Here. Fair. I well, I, they're old. So so okay. Okay, what do we think? California raised for. I mean, do we agree that green M M&M and M is last? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Let's just, let's just put that on the board then. Let's just put that on the board. I think we need to. We she need can't to keep moving. Here. She can't keep flirt her way out of this one. Right. 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 Okay. Right. Yeah. Battle no, no. to the death. This is. There, there's other categories. There's other categories she, here. She folks. put on her tennis shoes. She can. She can win in other categories. I'm sure. All right. right. Votes for the raisin. To be nine or to be eight. To be the the winner. To be to be eight. Yeah. Uh, I guess yeah let's say the raisins let's say raisins are eight I'm gonna say no. there's four no? no you say that that Aunt Jemima and Uncle Ben beat the raisins I think so I think so alright damn is it a tie do we think so and then you guys don't think so I'm willing to dude I'm willing to help them out hmm. <laughs> I'm throw them a bone damn bro it's tough yeah I, I'm, it's tough dude it was I'm a close a, fight could I'm, there be a tie can we allow that no 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 that fucks up whole okay <laughs> <laughs> no, we got this it. is a very well a thought out one. game. But what are the odds? Fuck. All right, all right. I will okay, say, you I'll know what? Let's give me. Let's give me. No one has okay, convinced okay, me. Okay, okay. I guess the the raisins. I could see how with their fucking you it's, know it's heavy cl- metal it's, music it's, being crucified. Oh, true, true, like, true, true, yeah. All right, you know, yeah. Raisins are raisins are. Uh, thinking of that image, I'm like, all right. All raisins right. are eight. Raisins are eight. Okay. Raisins right. Right. We'll give him right. We'll give him Yeah, okay, I fine. forgot about the Jesus like blood magic. Promise. You got it. Yeah. yeah, we don't have any. We don't have any such uh, such imagery with uh, Uncle Ben and yeah, Aunt Jemima. Buddy. Yeah. yeah. Sorry to the uh, loser of this round. This is Green a scientific. M&M. This is an mm-hmm. evidence based show. Right. Right. right, right. <laughs> Sorry, hon. Um, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. She. Was, there it is. Oh, give me two seconds here. <laughs> yeah. Wow. He he used to go recharge his plumbus. <laughs> <laughs> Happens to everyone. He's got to go put more Schleem on his plumbus. Indeed, um, yep. Yeah, sorry to Green Eminem. I mean, she put on her tennis shoes, but she should have been putting on combat boots. Uh-huh. She should have been like, down, 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 down. Imagine Green Eminem. M&M. <laughs> yeah, imagine Green Eminem in like a helicopter, <laughs> the sniper. Oh my god! <laughs> mounted on a mounted on a mini gun and a chopper <laughs> in the fields of yeah. napalm. Get yes. some. Yeah. Um. So grub factor. So the grub factor is, yeah. is, is next. That's what's next. I guess we should wait hmm. for Zood. Well, 
Let's see. But in the meantime, let's, I mean, let's recap. Why, why, you know, number one, stay puffed. I think that was obvious. Man. Yeah, just to do the sheer size. Well, and it because, wasn't obvious. It was a, it was a good contender between Kool Aid Man and Stay Puff. That right. would that it would be a vicious battle. Mm, it'd be a vicious battle. Stay Puff could just step on yeah. anyone. Yeah, well, yeah. Just, I mean, you know. Marshmallow's kind of like a self healing sort of object as mm-hmm. well. Right, so right, right, know, right. He's got lots of a marshmallow there, could man. totally absorb the impact of even a rocket launcher mm-hmm. or whatever. It just goes yep. okay. just like uh, you know. Yep. Here's a here's a bonus question though. Mm. What if the entire roster went up against Stay Puff? They teamed up. Ooh. What would 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 they have a chance? Would they win? Shoot. I think it could be possible. Like, what if Zood? I'm glad you're back. I was just asking. Do you feel just as a bonus question? Do you feel the entire roster could take Stay Puffed if they teamed up? Uh, I think so. Actually, I think uh, between the amount of mystical power that we have between uh, a lefty and the California Raisins, with the physical power of <laughs> Chester Cheetah and the Kool Aid Man, they're running a gauntlet while they're uh, the other two are doing the ritual to banish yeah. him back to the other dimension. <laughs> uh, well, the, meanwhile, the Tapatio guy, uh, you know, he's actually uh, he's just kind of sneaking away from the situation. You know, very right. cartel like. You know, like a ton, yeah. yeah, learning yeah. how to profit from it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, no, mm-hmm. definitely. Um, and then, and then there's like, meanwhile, there's like a survivor story in the city happening. The city's being destroyed, and Aunt Jemima and uh, Uncle Ben have to escape from their high rise. And they're helping people. <laughs> they're helping people evacuate. Mm-hmm, right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, okay, uh, I like that. Yeah, good yeah. stuff. Good, dude. Yeah, good the story. Gr- and the green M M&M and M is the news reporter. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, I can do more than just be a sexy piece of candy. <laughs> Hi, candy, for you all to see. Yeah. Um, but I think this looks good here. This is fair. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I yeah, we did it. I mean, we, we ran the numbers. Out, okay. <laughs> and so Grum some factor? of you some of you watching this may be like, mm. that's unfair. Obviously, some of these characters would just completely obliterate them in a fight. That's not fair. But that's why we have five categories. And we spent entirely too long on the first category. But I think it was worth it because I think we established the lore and the groundwork for what's mm. to come we in did. these other categories. It's like Miss America or whatever. You got to have the brains and the brawn. You got to have it all. 